Hey, it's Buddy from Root and Earth. Today, I am going to be talking to you about identification features of Trimedes versicolor, or turkey tail, as well as commonly misidentified species which can occur alongside it. All of these species are primary saprophytes. In other words, they are the first to begin to attack and decompose rotting wood when it falls to the forest floor or even just dies and is still on the tree. They are highly prolific, they are very efficient at their job, and they break down the complex compounds that make up the wood into simpler compounds which secondary and tertiary or organisms can then further compost until eventually it has made its way through all of the species which have turned it into fertile soil for the floor of the forest. Um, I will get into the identification features here in a moment, but first, let's take a moment to appreciate one of the most beautiful flushes of Tremedius versicolor that I have ever seen in my life, which I am standing next to. And just look at this. It's covering what is a fallen either oak or hickory. It's hard to tell. I believe it is a hickory. And here's the top part of the tree which has fallen. And just look at that. I mean, I have never found a flush so amazingly beautiful as this. What a sight. I'm going to talk to you today about the most commonly misidentified species that people often ask me about by sending me pictures requesting identification. They are almost always incorrect in their ID. And I am here with a beautiful little patch of it. This is turkey tail, Trimetes versicolor. And it is a great medicinal mushroom, and that's why people often want to collect it. It is also extremely common, but so are some look-alikes that can be a little confusing if you are not familiar with observing the details which identify this mushroom. So I will talk it over a little bit with you today, but first let's take a look at this log that I'm standing next to because it actually has a common scenario here, which is that basically all of the species, both Trimedes versicolor and the other species which you are likely to misidentify, are all growing side by side on this log. So let's take a look at those first. Here are some true turkey tails. These are Trimetes versicolor. They are a little bit washed out from the dry weather that we have been having, but you can see the concentric growth rings. If you were to feel this mushroom, it is suede-like on the top. It's a little bit, not exactly fuzzy, but almost kind of feathery, pleasing to the touch. It feels just like suede. Um, it has this somewhat irregular outer margin, which is often lighter in color than the concentric rings on the inner part. It can be widely variable in color. Um, the underside is white, and as it ages, it will become more of a creamy off-white to almost tan, but it has a porous undersurface. The pores are visible to the naked eye, although they are very small, so depending on your eyesight, you may or may not be able to see them. But uh, I'll talk more about the identification features in a minute, but let's just look at this log. As we move down, here is another small fungus. I don't know what that is, but we will just ignore that for now. As we move down, here we have the most often misidentified mushroom, which is called Sterium ostria, or false turkey tail. You can see these are also washed out. Now, here is one that has a good bit of 
visible growth rings. It also gets concentric rings in the same way that's, that uh, Trimetes versicolor does, but if you feel the top of this mushroom, it is very smooth, not at all suede-like. Um, maybe a little leathery, but not suede-like. And if you look at the underside, it is this one is kind of off-white, but very often it mirrors the same colors as the top, and the bottom is completely smooth. Even if you look at this through a hand lens, you are not going to see pores. It is just a smooth undersurface. Sterium ostria, or a false turkey tail. Moving down the log, we come to yet another. I don't typically see this misidentified by people when they send me pictures, but it can be. This is called Tricaptum biformi, and it also grows somewhat concentric growth rings. It is slightly fuzzier on top than the Sterium, but it, it has this purple outer margin, which is not all that bright on these, but it can be very bright. Um, and if you look at the underside, it has purple on the outer margin, fading to kind of a, a light off-white. And the underside of this mushroom actually has tooth-like structures if you were to look at it very closely. This camera does not do a great job of focusing at close range, but the underside of this mushroom almost feels somewhat suede-like due to those toothy structures. And it can be a lot darker than these. All of these are washed out. We've been having really dry weather. Um, but that is Tricaptum biformi, or the toothed, uh, violet toothed bracket fungus. Here are more Sterium ostria as we move down. And then on this other log right over here, we have one more which I do see mistaken for turkey tail from time to time, although once you are familiar with turkey tail, it is not likely to fool you. This is called Trimetes betulina, and it, on the top, it does look somewhat similar. It tends to be this bright orangish color, though, and green, and I don't know if the green is algae or if that is a color of the mushroom, but it does grow in concentric rings. It is suede-like on the top, very much like turkey tail. It has an irregular outer margin like turkey tail, but it's much fleshier. Turkey tail is papery. This is a very fleshy type of mushroom. And the most important thing is that if you look at the bottom of this mushroom, it actually has these gill-like structures and the common name for this is a gilled polypore, but the Latin name is Trimetes betulina, or betulina. Um, and as you can see, if you have observed turkey tail, when you look at the bottom of this, there's absolutely no way that you are going to mistake this. So... I throw this in because it is growing side by side with these, but you are not really likely to mistake this for turkey tail. Trimetes betulina. So let's take a look at these different species side by side and talk about the differences and the identification techniques. So here we have several colors of actual turkey tail. You can see how variable it is. And it can be much different than any of these as well, but 
the identifying features are going to stay the same. And that is when you look at this mushroom, A, it is always going to be growing on hardwood. Fallen, dead hardwood. Um, B, it has irregular margins. It is not typically smooth in any way. It is these kind of lobes or bumps. The top of it has concentric growth rings, which vary in color. They're never the same color all the way across. They are varying in color. They alternate. Um, the top of it is also very suede-like. If you take a small lens or even by eye, you can see feathery textures, especially near the base of it. And if you feel it, it feels just like suede. It's, it's not smooth. It is kind of fuzzy. The bottom is white to off-white. As it ages, it will turn almost a really light tan, but the bottom is porous. It has millions of tiny pores. They are, uh, they can be observed by the naked eye, but depending on your eyesight, they may be a little too small to see. So if you carry a hand lens, you can look at this and you will see small pores covering the whole entire surface. Not tooth-like structures, not smooth, but pores. Now let's look at it side by side with the most commonly misidentified Sterium ostrea right here. It also grows with concentric growth patterns and they can alternate, but they are usually this brick red color alternating with like a cream off white. The outer margin is much more regular shaped. It's just sort of round. It's not lobed at all. The top feels very smooth when you touch it. There is no type of fuzziness on this mushroom at all. And when you look at the bottom side, the color on this one is just off white, but very often you will, you will see concentric growth rings on the bottom as well with slightly tamed down versions of the same color as the top and the bottom is completely smooth. There are no pores. If you look at this with a hand lens, you will not see anything except a smooth surface. This one will be porous. True turkey tail, false turkey tail. Now, the lesser misidentified species, Trichaptum biformi, you can see it really doesn't look much like this, but the colors can be more pronounced on this. And it is thin, it is papery. It has a purple outer margin, which can be faded and almost non-existent. But when you look at the bottoms side by side, it looks really nothing like it. It has tooth-like structures. It is very rough in its texture and it does not have pores at all, and it fades to a purple on the outer margin. So once you're familiar with that, you are not likely to misidentify this for this. And lastly, we have got Trametes betulinum, grows in concentric growth rings. It usually has this bright orange. It is velvety or suede-like on top, but it's a much meatier, thick mushroom where turkey tail is very papery and thin. And of course, when you look at the underside, there's no comparison. I mean, so basically including this is just because some people look at the top and they think that they have found turkey tail. But if you look underneath, which you should always be doing, it's obvious that it is not what you're looking for. So those are the most commonly misidentified for this. And hopefully this will help you out in your hunt for this because so many people send me pictures and they are almost always the wrong species. So. 
pay close attention to your identifying features and good luck in your hunting.